I'm Steve Higginbotham with Cameras Brookwood, and I'm here to demonstrate how to use the Polaris Incident Light Meter. Let's take a look at the features and functions of this light meter. You got your power button right here, We're going to turn it on. The mode button, there are three modes you'll use. The ISO control and the multi flash exposure. This feature is not really applicable to digital photography, so we're just not going to fool with it today. And on the side, you have your up and down buttons and the trigger button, the one that takes the meter reading. All right, now let's show how the meter works under a constant light source. I've selected my mode as ambient light, which is any constant light source, such as indoor lighting or the sun. I'm going to set my ISO using the ISO button and the up and down buttons to set it at 400 ISO. Next, using just the up and down buttons, I will select my shutter speed, 60th of a second. So now I'm going to place the meter under my chin, the correct position for a portrait. The meter and my face are on the same plane. I press the trigger button and I get my meter reading of 2.8 and a 60th of a second. And under the f-stop reading are little tick marks along a scale. There's five of them. Each of those signifies a tenth of an f-stop. So we're at halfway point, so it's 2.8 and a half is our f-stop reading. Now if I don't like that f-stop and shutter speed combination, by toggling my up and down buttons, I can get a new set of exposure readings that I could use depending on if I need more depth of field or less, or a faster shutter speed. So that's how it works with ambient light. Now we're going to move on to the flash modes. Okay. Pressing the mode button, I go to our first flash mode, which is indicated by the little flash icon on the LCD screen. Now, just like shooting ambient light, you want to set your ISO. We're going to keep it at 400. And in this flash mode here, the flash has to be triggered by someone away from the meter. There's a way to do it remotely, but that comes up next. So I've got everything set. I'm setting my shutter speed again at 60th of a second. And I'm going to hold the meter under my chin, push the button, the flash icon will blink, and now I'm going to trigger my flash. And I've got an f-stop of 11. So that's my exposure reading for this flash. f11, 60th of a second. Now, let's say I'm working a job where I don't have an assistant to fire my strobe across the room. The second flash mode is flash with cord, which is a little flash icon with a C beside it. And that allows you to take the sync cord from your flash unit, Plug it into the Polaris, place it under your subject just like you want to or anywhere on the scene that you need to measure and press the button and fire it remotely. And again, F11 at a 60th of a second. So there we've seen a simple demonstration of the Polaris incident meter using ambient light settings and flash.